Hey guys, welcome to the channel and what we are going to do today is talk about yet a few more headphones from Sony. We did review their flagship WH-1000XM5s a little while ago on the channel, especially with the purpose of gaming. And if you are someone that's looking for a pair of premium headphones priced above 25,000 rupees, then I highly recommend you go and check these out. They are absolutely phenomenal with their performance. But if you are more on a tighter budget, Sony has two options for you. And of course, the naming convention doesn't change. You have the WH-CH720N, priced close to 10,300 rupees as of recording this video. And we also have the WH-CH520, priced at about 5,500 rupees as of recording this video. And both of them are actually targeted at very specific use cases. Both of them have 30 mm drivers. And if you listen to both of them, there is a difference in the overall sound quality. Of course, there is the 720, we're just going to call these ones the 720 and these ones the 520 for the convenience. The 720 do have better uh, features on offer, of course, considering the price point. And they also have slightly better sound quality as well. Not way 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 better but yes where you know how to look for the difference you will be able to make out which of these two sound better so who are these targeted at and who is the right audience for each of them that's what we're going to find out in this video so let's start with the smaller of the two which is the 520 now this headphones has no noise cancellation and of course there are a few cons to it which we are going to get out of the way right at the beginning the first of it is of course it isn't weatherproof so if you're going to go out running while sweating in them is fine i highly recommend keeping them away if it starts uh, raining and the second problem i have with these is that it does not have a 3.5 mm connectivity and you know just like a lot of people criticize the mac for getting rid of the cd rom drive before everyone else i think it's fair to say that if you are looking for a pair of bluetooth headphones today and really don't care about 3.5 mm connectivity then it isn't a con for you but for someone like me i like to take the headphones i have on offer and connect them to my gaming console via 3.5 mm be it the ps5 or the series x which i can't do with this one and the only console i could actually use this with properly was the nintendo switch and playing a bit of tears of the kingdom on this was a lot of fun because the sound quality is very good and so is the channel separation but before we get into the sound quality let's take a look at the build and design now just hear this It has very good clicks and very good quality when it comes to the headband, especially if you are someone that's going to adjust it, it's going to be very, very durable. Uh, it is all plastic and the top is fairly soft. It doesn't fold. So if you're carrying it, you need to have about that much space and it doesn't come with a carrying case in the box at this price point neither does it come with a 3.5 mm cable because it doesn't support it but it does come with a usb type c charging uh, cable in it and speaking of the connectivity options that's pretty much it i mean you have the power and pair button put together with the volume plus and the volume minus and it's fairly comfortable to control because once you get used to the placement of the buttons it's kind of really easy to navigate with one hand your right hand when it comes to the fit like i just put it on my head there are two things you need to notice one this does not have noise cancellation it is more of an on-ear design. So it is going to be on your ears and there is going to be enough gap for air to pass through. If you're someone like me that goes out for long walks or runs and if there's wind coming, you are going to be able to feel the wind going in. The one con I had with this setup when I started using these was that the pressure was quite tight, which made wearing my glasses a little uncomfortable. But after three to four days of use, they got just that little bit loose and have stayed there for the two weeks that I've used these, uh, making it a little more comfortable to wear if you're someone that's wearing glasses. And you should be able to listen to the ambient noise around you because that is what these headphones are designed for. Remember, their noise cancellation is very, very passive so to speak it's more to do with the pressure on your ears rather than being actually noise cancelling headphones because if you want noise cancelling headphones then you should definitely take a look at the 720ns that i have out here we are going to get to that one in a bit um, the ear cups also have a very comfortable fit to them and the overall sound output of this uh, pair of headphones is actually very very good especially when you consider the price point you can uh, watch movies by connecting this to your television and I found that the channel separation was really good It has 30 mm drivers So let's say if you're watching an action movie like Mission Impossible where you have Tom Cruise swishing left and right on the bike The channel separation from this is fairly fairly decent I mean even if you're listening to music like Bohemian Rhapsody which has the sounds coming from everywhere And while I did connect this to my TV with Bluetooth gaming on it to the console was an okay experience I mean in a game like Hellblade you do get pretty decent separation where 
when it comes to all the voices talking to you but i wouldn't recommend gaming with these headphones connected to your tv via bluetooth and then the console because there is just that much of a lag but connecting these to the switch and playing tears of the kingdom and having the ding 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 every time you cook food or have uh, discovered a new area it's actually pretty uh, good at that so fair to say that the volume at which you'll be listening to this is between 40 to 60 percent because below that i found that i couldn't make out a lot of the details in the music i was listening to and above 60 70 percent it was really very very loud so having said that if you're going to keep this at about 50 to 60 percent volume the claimed battery life is about 50 hours and i can attest to the fact that using them for one week for about an hour a day and the battery barely fell 10 15 percent maybe even a little less so in in terms of lifespan you can just recharge these once and you're good to go for a really 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 long time um, so the battery life on these is absolutely fantastic now when it comes to listening to podcasts if some of you are into podcasts then these sound really good i listen to a lot of podcasts when i go for walks and the uh, vocal quality from this is actually very good and if you're someone that's going to make calls using these headphones i'm actually going to give you a little bit of a demo of what the mic sounds like before we continue so this is a sample of the uh, mic quality of the WHCH520 uh, sitting in a relatively quiet room with only the AC running in case there's any background ambient noise and I'm capturing the audio on a laptop so you can get an idea of what it's like if you're going to be using this for uh, some conference calls and this is what your voice will sound like at the other end. The quality is pretty much similar to what it would sound like if you were using this on the phone to take calls as well. For example okay so now you know what the mic sounds like uh, it is actually fairly decent even in a slightly noisy environment i didn't have any troubles taking calls on these so safe to say that if you're looking for a pair of headphones around five thousand rupees and you know with so many discounts that happen all the time you can find a place where you can get them a lot cheaper and overall apart from the fact that they don't have 3.5 mm connectivity and are not really weather resistant they are very good the build quality is nice it has a full black design when it comes to the headband it is fairly comfortable Comfortable. Of course, for the first few days, I did find it a little uncomfortable because the pressure was a little too much. But with using it more and more, they started giving a much better and more comfortable feel. But it isn't that they became really loose really fast. They became just the right amount loose and stuck there for the duration of two weeks that I use these headphones every day for almost an hour. But what if you're someone that wants a few more features? Now, remember, these headphones also come with app connectivity where you can connect them to the Sony headphones app. But I didn't really get any software updates for these i don't think you would but you do get to control certain presets which is nice if you want to tune the way the audio sounds so the fact that it's giving you app connectivity as well is a real plus point especially considering the price point but if you want a baby version of the wh 1000 xm5s that i showed you earlier then these 720ns are the ones that you need to consider now let's start with the build and design of these ones of course paying almost double to the 520 that we just saw the build is a lot more premium i mean even the headband moves with slightly uh, more distinguished clicks if i can say so and you do have these silver accents when you open this to give it a slightly chrome like finish which is really nice the headband is nice and soft overall the construction quality of these headphones is actually pretty good and if you see that i put them on whoops that was the right way <laughs> when i put these on you can see that they have an on ear design which means they cover the entire ear which helps with the noise cancellation the pressure on the head is also not very tight and it's not very loose it's actually just perfect for someone like me and i found the ear cups to be really big now in some cases you may feel like your ears are a little closer to the driver but that is very seldom it didn't happen often enough that it made it uncomfortable although i can say that for about an hour hour and a half is the maximum i could use these headphones before i needed to take a break so keeping in line with the build they are absolutely very well constructed the finish is good the padding uh, on the ear cups is also really nice Again, not really weatherproof, so I wouldn't recommend taking them out. But if you're someone like me that has really big ears, I highly recommend going and checking these out because I was skeptical whether they'd be big enough for my ears and they actually were. It was a great experience wearing and using these headphones. 
they do come with active noise cancelling just like the 1000 xm 5s and the active noise cancelling is very very good i mean it's not exactly comparable to a pair of 26000 rupee headphones but the fact that they offer it is brilliant it also comes with a 3.5 mm cable because it has that connectivity in the box along with a usb type c cable and it has a claimed battery life of about 35 hours which i think is fairly decent especially if you keep noise cancellation on at times that battery life can reduce a bit but i never really found the battery life on this to be lacking unlike the 1000 xm 5s that has touch controls this one has no touch controls in fact it has all physical buttons for uh, volume pairing even for active noise cancelling there is a dedicated button and of course on the left you have the power button the usb type c port along with the headphones port you can connect this to the sony headphones app on your smartphone i did get an update for this when i hooked it up for the first time and the fact that you get a lot of detailed controls like you would with the 1000 xm 5s makes this a really great option without you having the feeling of fomo of not having sony's top of the line premium product i mean it auto detects when i was standing when i was sitting when i was walking the noise cancellation worked uh, brilliantly even when i connected it to my gaming console via the 3.5 mm uh, cable it goes to straight into the PS5 or Xbox Series X controller you can switch on the active noise cancellation by just pressing the button and you are gaming with a completely immersive experience now I gamed in a room where I switched on the fan so when the noise cancellation was off I could hear the movement of the fan right above me but when I switched the noise cancellation on I couldn't hear anything around me so it was fairly good in the limited test that I have by switching on some uh, noises around me when it comes to the sound output honestly they are a little better than the 520s that I spoke about earlier but you will only notice those differences if you hear them side by side when it comes to the bass the vocals the mids they are just a tad bit one step up of course the difference between these two is a lot the 1000 xm5 sound extremely good and extremely premium and they are extremely flagship but these 720 ns are no slouches even when considered to sony's flagship offering i mean i could say that if you're someone that does isn't really a great audio file and wants a fantastic pair of headphones without spending a bomb you can most definitely consider these because the bass is good even when watching movies or listening to mu music that has good channel separation you can make out the vocals you can make out the different instruments and they are fantastic for listening to podcasts as well and this is a sample from the Sony WHCH 720 and these are the noise cancelling uh, headphones mic and the audio quality that you're listening to is recorded uh, by connecting it via bluetooth to a computer same as the other headphones and uh, it's the same quality that you can expect if you are going to take calls i'm sitting in a relatively quiet room with just the ac running and the fan running as some uh, background noise but otherwise the room is relatively quiet to give you uh, an understanding of what the headphones mic sounds like so overall if i could sum it up and tell you which pair of headphones is right for whom now i prefer to take the 520 for me with me when i would go for a walk simply because of the area design because when i would wear these and walk really fast there is enough gap to let so the air flow to my ears keeping it relatively cooler for longer duration of walks and longer duration of use but if you want a comp and of course i can listen to my surroundings in case someone is passing by or calling me but with the 720n is where you get an immersive experience these are the ones that you're probably going to carry with you when you're going on a long trip on a flight or in a car or simply want an immersive movie watching experience at home without disturbing the family and without hearing them even if they're sitting right next to you so those are the two use cases where i see them different of course the 520ns were great the 520s were great when i played games on my switch with them because that's a more portable experience but of course the 720ns double up as a better experience because of 3.5 mm connectivity and the fact that you can connect them to your home consoles via the cable as well the app connectivity is also much better with the 720n giving you more flagship features like software updates detecting whether you're standing or sitting for noise cancellation whereas the 520 give you a more basic app experience where you can just let's say tune the bass and you know change some of the presets which are fairly good on offer considering uh, the Sony app so there you have it guys that was a quick look at uh, or rather a quite a detailed look at the 520 uh, and the 720ns and of course I did compare them with the flagship uh, WH1000XM5s which have been my daily drivers for a really really long time 
But nonetheless, I can tell you that I'm very impressed with both the offerings that Sony has at the 5,000 rupee price point and at the 10,000 rupee price point, giving you more options to choose from. Don't be afraid of the fact that this is an entry level device and you're missing out because the sound quality is exceptional. And if you really don't need features like active noise cancellation, the app support 3.5 mm connectivity, you can actually consider getting the 520s because they are fantastic when it comes to sound quality at this price point. And yes, if you don't want to go for the 26,000 rupee flagships that Sony has on offer, you are on a tighter budget, then these are no slouch at this price point. Sure, the build quality does look a step down, but that's about it. When it comes to the overall audio quality, the 720Ns sound fantastic for both gaming and music and movies. And of course, the noise cancellation is very good. The battery life is good. It doesn't have IP rating and no touch controls like its elder sibling, but I'm okay. I was never a fan of touch controls to begin with. I prefer the physical buttons, but then again, these are personal preferences. So that's something that you're going to have to judge for yourself. So there you have it, guys. That was my review of the CH520 and CH720. And as always, you can let me know what you thought of this video in the comment section below. And for more from the world of technology, subscribe to the channel. We will catch you in another video. It's goodbye for now.